says, verse 24, the Lord of hosts have sworn, saying, huh? the Most High have sworn, saying, go ahead, surely as I, as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. All right. That's the words of the heavenly Father. Come. Sworn. Try to regroup. All right, let him. <laughs> yeah, let him. He showed me straight to his phone while he was Go ahead. And it says, and as I have purpose, so oh, shall it stand. Trying to camera down there. Say, look, they was trying to be goose down there. They stopped. They look at him. Search the phone. See that? They trying to search the phone. See what scripture they can pull out. See what you got? <laughs> they trying to. They trying to search the phone and see what scripture they can pull out. Try to cut it, but come on back. Get me up. Get me back around, bro. God. Uh, verse 24. It says, The Lord of hosts have sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purpose, so shall it stand. So that slaughter going to happen, man. Come. And Babylon going to be cut down. And this is the this is the daughter of Babylon. With fervent. The ancient... Because ancient Babylon was taken down by the Persians and the Medes. Come on, come on. This Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, gonna go down by thermonuclear destruction. Okay? And, and I asked him, who is the kingdom for? Now, give me Acts. And, and he said, I told him, I said, yeah, you're gonna be there, but you gonna, but I ain't get around to it, but I was gonna tell him, you're gonna die on this side, you have to be born in the kingdom. Okay? In the kingdom, is for, uh, uh, let's see what the Bible says. Anybody does good? Yeah, about five. About five. <laughs> Acts chapter 1, verse 5. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Let's talk about the word, right? <laughs> Not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, with thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel. The kingdom of Israel. Go ahead. Verse 7. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. So what was going to happen is, they going to have to go back to Jerusalem, prophesy, they going to have to be put to death, right? Put to death and come back on this side, right? Which they didn't know that. Okay, but they was asking about the kingdom, right? And he told them, look, it's not for y'all to know. But the key is, is he is the one that's going to set up the kingdom. That's why they was asking. And who is he going to save? The Negro Latino, the Native American, his people, which are the children of Israel. And he elects out of them. So the kingdom of heaven is going to be for them. Okay? With that Edomite right there, he going to be there. He gonna die on this side, but he gonna be there, but he gonna be in slavery. So in the Revelation 13, 9 and 10. Oh. Okay? That's his lot. Okay? Maybe so. his right position is the base. Yeah. Whoa. Uh this is Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But ye shall receive power after death, that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all of Judah, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto, uttermost, and to the uttermost part of the earth. This is the uttermost part of the earth, huh? On this side, okay. So they prophesied about Yahweh Shah on the other side. They get they they gave up the goat, right? And they back on this side doing the same thing because it's the other most parts of the earth. The prophesied, prophesied about y'all watching that was shot. Okay? Destroying Esau, telling them, telling Israel who they are, and telling them the, the good news that the kingdom of heaven is for them. Okay? The Negro Latino is the Native American. Right? The children of Israel. But the elect going to make it on this side. The right. third got to be put to death. Go ahead. Uh -huh. This is Acts 1 and 9. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, he went up. Behold, two men stood by them 
in white apparel. Those were angels. Go ahead. Verse 11, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which Yahweh shot. Yahweh shot. It's a lock. This same Yahweh shot, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So he was taken up in the chariot. He was beamed up in the chariot. Okay? And John the Revelator seen him coming, uh, seen him coming in the chariot. Right? Again. So they seen him take, get taken up. And in Revelation, it gives a vision of him coming back. Give me Revelation, the first chapter, start at the top. Now this Revelation 1 and 1, the revelation of Yahweh Shai, which the Most High Yahweh gave unto him to show. Revelation means revealing, so, right? Of Israel, right? Go ahead. And it says, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Nah. Verse 2, who bear record of the word of the Most High. Bear record, right? Who, who witness, right? Go ahead. And of the testimony of Yahweh, nah. and of all things that he saw. And all things that he saw. Right? So John is telling you through our revelation the vision that he got, man. You go through Revelation, you got some visions. If you're not learned, you're not gonna know what he talking about. Cause he, he, he receives some, some hell of a visions, man. You know, when you get to talk about the dragon, and the woman, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta know, you gotta be, be taught the proper breakdowns of who, what that's talking about. The frogs, uh, the three frogs. Oh, they don't even know. See, they don't even know. Oh, so him, it's, Matter of fact, we're gonna get that before we leave yeah. out. So you know it's it's uh go ahead. And it says uh, uh verse three. Mm -hmm. Blessed is he that read it. Blessed is he that read it. Favor be shown to the man that reads, man. That's the only way you learn, you read. What is one way of learning. One way is through visual and one way is hands-on. Hey, but 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 the scriptures you're gonna have to read. Right, go ahead. It says, Blessed is he that read them, mm -hmm. and they that hear the words of this prophecy. Huh. They hear the words of this prophecy, man. And keep those things which are written therein. And you got to keep the things that are written therein, the laws and the statutes, man. Come on. You got to keep them. And adhere to the prophecies, man. Because if you don't adhere to these prophecies, man, you're going to get caught up. But these prophecies are happening daily, man. Come on. You know? Go ahead. And it says, uh, for the time is at hand. For the time is at hand. Give me uh, I'll that. Yeah. All right. uh, uh, verse four. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, mm -hmm. grace be unto you and, and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come. Come on, that's your shot. Come. And mm -hmm. from the seven spirits which are before his throne. Mm -hmm. uh, verse five. And from Yahweh who is faithful, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his blood, in his own blood. Come, so he died for the, for the repentance of Israel. Come. Acts 5 and uh, 30, 30, man. That's right. And it's telling you he is the head of authority over, over, over everybody. Under his father, he's the, the head of authority. Man. Come. Uh, it says, uh, verse 6, And have made us kings and priests unto Yahweh, 
unto God and his father to him be to him be glory and dominion forever and ever amen glory and dominion right because we're going to be king, king priest, priest. And king yeah. come. Exodus uh, 19 to 6 right that's right. what we're going to be king and priest right go ahead got and dominion dominion is a uh, rulership give me a uh, done with that one no no I want to go to the image oh okay right, go, uh, right, that's what that's what no no just continue just okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. it says uh, verse 7 uh, behold, he coming with clouds, and yeah. every eye shall see him. Said, behold, he coming with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Because you remember going mm -hmm. back to Acts, the first chapter. Yeah. Right? He said the same way he left, the way he coming back. Bingo. Uh, Bingo. Con. He disappeared in the cloud, he's going to come back through the cloud. When he come back, he's going to be on, he gonna be on chariots, man. Right. Identify flying objects. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it says, uh, first it, uh -huh. behold, he cometh with clouds, mm -hmm. and every eye shall see him. So everybody gonna see him from east to west, huh. the whole world. But them chariots gonna be coming from one end of the, of the earth to the other. Go ahead. And they also which pierced him, Huh. All kids of the earth. It said they that pierced him. Who pierced him? The Roman soldiers, man. Huh. So it, when you read that scripture, it's telling you that that's a reincarnation scripture, right? You can you can uh, receive it. It's a reincarnation scripture because it said them that pierced him. So that means them them souls are here now, huh. All right. getting ready to be towed up when the yeah. house start come back. They, they probably gonna be the first ones to get to us. Hey, all right. You reap what you sow. Uh, it's a uh, Galatians. Yeah, most of them the other six. Most I probably gonna have his. He probably gonna put them there with the soul. Hey, they gonna die for sure. Most of them. <laughs> he said, Behold, he coming with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Mm -hmm. And they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Uh, Even so, amen. Uh, go ahead. They're going to be, gonna be in mourning because what he's going to come back and do to them. You know? Turn them up. That's why they're going to be in mourning, man. Like that. That's why they're going to be crying like that. What he's going to do to them. Right? Verse 8. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, say of the Lord. Which is and which was and which is to come, the uh, Almighty. Uh, go ahead. Verse Alpha nine. and Omega, the beginning and the end, the Ah and the Ta. In Hebrew, it's the Ah and the Ta. Omega is the Ta. Go ahead. Verse nine. I John, who also am your brother mm -hmm. and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience. Say he's our our brother in this tribulation in this oppression. What we think we going through, he, hey, they went through it too. All right. All right. You know, you know they they sent him to to the to the uh, island of Patmos. They just banished him there. And he had to be for yeah, being for himself. You know, you know, you know, you know, y'all watching y'all shy had his back. You know, they thought they was doing something, but they put him they put him in a salt mine. And that salt, you need that salt. <laughs> So he can easily just be eating this salt off the, licking this uh, walls of the salt man. No? Verse 9, it says, I judge, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Yahweh Shah was in the isle that is called Petmo. See? For, for the word of the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah and for the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Nah. Go ahead. Verse 10. He says, I was in the spirit of the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as, as of a trumpet. He said, even though he was on that alley, he still was in the spirit. Huh. So you know you, you know the Lord looked out for him, man. Right. You know, he probably found a little patch of berries or something, blackberries or something. You never know. He probably had a little orchid of nuts or something. But, you know, yeah. he said he stayed in the spirit, though. Out of all that oppression he was going through, you know, but they get a little oppression and shit. They ain't gonna stay in the spirit. Uh, you know? Go ahead. It says, verse 10, 
I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and, and, and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Verse 11, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, uh, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, uh, unto Ephesus. And unto uh, Smyrna, Smyrna. And unto Pergamos. Uh -huh. and to, Hold on, let's go back. I'm gonna tell y'all what it's that too. Through the spirit. Alright, we're gonna go through that. Turkey. Read that over. Alright, first of all, they all they all in Turkey. Yeah. God. That's eight months. God. It says, first of saying, I am Alpha and Omega, mm -hmm. the first and the last. Mm -hmm. And what thou seest, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia. Mm -hmm. Unto Ephesus. 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 Ephesus permitted. It's a maritime city. It was a maritime city. Go ahead. And unto Smyrna. And to uh, Smyrna. Smyrna. That means mirth. Right? It's an Iconian city. That was about 40 miles north of Ephesus. Go ahead. And unto Pergamos. Pergamos. That means height of elevation. A city in uh, Major Minor. Major Minor. Go ahead. It was a dynasty city. Dynasty. Go ahead. And unto Thyatira. Thyatira. Thyatira means uh, odor of affliction. Time. Go ahead. And unto Sardis. Sardis means red one. It was a, lu a luxurious city in Asia Minor. Probably like 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 Las Vegas is to us, right? Go ahead. And unto Philadelphia. Philadelphia, brotherly love, right? Go ahead. And uh, Lado Sea. Yeah. Lado Sea. Lado Sea. Lado Sea. Lado Sea. Lado Sea. Yeah, Lado Sea. Laodicea means justice of the people. It was a city in Bargia, right? On the river, on the river of uh, like 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 not far from Colossia. Come, go ahead. Verse 12, and I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the son of man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, Gone. Clothed with a garment down to the foot, right? Like you see right there. Go ahead. And it says, clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Girt about the paps with a golden girdle. That's what you see right there. Cool. Which is a, uh, a paps is a uh, girdle that came all the way up to your, uh, up under your breast, which protected your your uh, midsection when you had war, right? Go ahead. And it says, his head and his hairs were white like wool. It says his head and his hairs were white like wool, assembly, white like wool, right? Huh. Now, we know who has woolly hair on the planet, right? Judites, man. Oh, yeah. They got woolly, nappy hair, look like a sheep. So that's another characteristic to tell you that he belonged to the tribe of Judah. But he told us in Hebrews 7 and 14 that it was evident that he sprang out of Judah. Come. Sprang, sprang means a descendant. Go ahead. And it says, his head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow. Why was it like that? Right? Because he had he had he was he was had a lot of uh, uh affliction and oppression put on. Go to uh, please ask the eight one. Okay. Uh, it's please ask these 
8 and 1. Mm -hmm. Who is as the wise man? And who knows the interpretation of a thing? Mm -hmm. A man's wisdom making his face to shine. Con. That's why his face shine because he had that he had that he was he had that wisdom, right? So a lot of men had wisdom. They they had that gray hair and they said this come from wisdom. So Yahweh Shah had that that hair that was white as snow because of the stress he went through and he had wisdom. Right? Go ahead. And it says, a man's wisdom make his face to shine. Yeah, con. Uh, uh, back in Revelation uh, 1 to 14 It says his head and his hair Were white like wool As white as snow And his eyes were as a flame of fire Come. It says his eyes was a flame of fire man Because he was so He was angry And plus He was so angry with his people And plus he drank When you go back to Genesis 49 chapter It tell you he drank wine and we all know when you drink large amounts of wine, you have red eyes. But also the Lord, he stay angry at, at Jake now, man. Right? Go ahead. And it says, And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. It says feet like unto fine brass, if they was burned in a furnace. When you look up the word brass, it goes in the bronze. And, that, and when you look bronze up, it's the color of what? A penny, man. Let's show you if I got one. Edify that. There go one. About all I got. That's a penny, man. That's what color is that? That looks brown. So if it, you burn this in a furnace, it would be what dark, almost black. Yep. So the Lord was a dark-skinned man. In that, in that, in that, Edomite, known as a. Y'all know them as, as Russians, but they Edomites, that's their biblical nationality. He agreed that the Lord was a so-called black man. Yeah. He agreed. And this, was, and this is the whole purpose of us reading uh, this scripture. Because it gives you the description of how he looked in the Bible. That Edomite agreed. You know, when you go over to Russia, they got the icons. You know, the icons that they have are, are depicting the, uh, the, true, the true colors. Matter of fact, in the camp we have a book like that. Come here, man. Come here with that cape on. Look <laughs> like Satan. 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 Cause you know them Russian icon books to pick the true colors. Oh, yeah, right, 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 yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can type in Russian icon yep. on Google. Mm -hmm. Go to Google image and type in Russian icon. Yep. They'll pop up. But you know, some of them books cause them on the leg. I got one that, uh, this year, that, uh, man, it showed you, it showed you uh, how Joseph looked. It showed you how Matthew looked. It showed you uh -huh. how Paul looked. You know what I'm saying? I got it. Right, that one right there cost me right here. Right here. Hell yeah. That's all huge, man. Be red and blue. red. Yeah. Yeah, she's got a smell almost exactly like a steak blue. The smell almost like you kill it. Yeah. You see, that's blood. They were full of blood. Go ahead, bro. All right, go ahead. All right, it says, verse 15, and his feet like unto fine bread, as if they burn in a furnace. So John saw the feet of Yahweh Shai, and they looked dark. Go ahead. And it says, and his voice is the sound of many waters. His voice was the sound of many waters. When you see many water, it's when you're in the ocean, if you're out there in the middle of the ocean, it's a roar, man. That's all you hear is roar, a roar. Yeah. Right? And the Lord had a loud voice, man, because he, he spoke. This the scripture tell you how he spoke from the ship to the people on the shore. Right. And if you ever been out to the water, when you're speaking from the water to the shore, you got to have a loud voice. You can hear good if somebody's speaking from that end 
to this end so far, but if you in the water and somebody's speaking towards the shore, you gotta, you gotta be speaking loud. So the Lord had a loud voice, man. I tell you, in Luke, he's an austere man. So austere man, you know, most austere men, they gonna have that voice. That's right. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, he had that punk head, Jim Jesus, like they tell you in church. God. Boom, go ahead and hit him. What do you think about Daniel? Yeah, I got it. All right, this uh, Daniel 10, five. five. All right, it's Daniel 10, uh, verse 5. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, mm -hmm. whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphrates. The fine gold of Euphrates. Euphrates was the most desired gold back at that time. It was precious gold, you know? Go ahead. Verse 6. His body also and was and like the bird. That you fast going into that war belt. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, take war belt. Yeah, yeah. Take the essence. But it just gives you the, mm -hmm. the name of it, what kind of gold it yeah. was. You know? But it was like the most popular. The like this. Yeah. 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 Like like for us now, what we have, 24 carat, uh -huh. that's the, you know what I'm saying, the popular gold. Uh, yellow gold, but that you fast was the, it was the shit, basically. Broke Jake's wouldn't walk around with it. Come. Cause they tell you in the definition it was the most desired though. So if they desired it, then it was they rare. Have, yeah. yeah, everybody didn't have it. It says his body also was like the pearl, and his face as the appearance of light. Pearl is green. Pearl is green and yellow. yellow. Right. The reason why the reason why he's seen it like that, green and green and yellow. Right, we know the word, when you go deep into it, the word burl is green. Mm -hmm. But the reason why uh, it was like that, cause he had on that war burl, right? And he's seeing that glow. Mm -hmm. So it, it's going, when, it, when that war burl is shining and he got on the green garment, you gonna see that, that glow and all that shine. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna make it look like that. Shine and shine look yellow. You see, yeah. so, so it was green. Now, I said a long time ago through the spirit, which I looked it up. You know, a long time ago. I mean, we was in Missouri with mm -hmm. the brother of Kuala, and I was like, that, the reason why, I was like, the reason why that, uh, the reason why he had on that green garment, the reason why he had on that green garment, because that represent life, and it represent a quickening spirit. Mm -hmm. So, to edify what I was saying a long time ago, I'm gonna have the brother read the meaning of the word uh, uh, green and what it means. You got it, bro. This is uh, from ridingthebeast.com. It says green is primarily associated with plant life. As a result, we can view it as a symbol of natural growth in life. So when you come into this truth, Right? You grow and you become a quickening spirit. Okay? That's what it is. So, go ahead. The exception is its use in the Viticus to denote disease. Okay? Now, read that read the definition of eating the green. Read the definition. It says, this is from ridingthebeast.com. Green is primarily associated with plant life. Plant life. So when you when they when you see how we shot with that green garment on, right? Because we also, when you speak in the scriptures, it's also parabolic that we known as trees too. Okay? Places in the scriptures they speak about just like when Yahweh shot uh, when Yahweh shot healed the blind man, he said, I see men walking as trees. Okay? So we also uh, uh, spoken parabolically as people uh, looking like trees. But just dealing with life, it's said plant life, but it's dealing with life. Mm -hmm. So him having on that green garment represent life and the quickening spirit. God. 
dealing with the growth. So that's what that garment represented when, when he had on. He said, look, that's the, that's the one, that's the one, they, life. That's the one that can help you grow in the spirit, quick in the spirit, that's life, dealing with him. Okay, so that's why I said that a long time ago. Okay, that's what that, that going